YouTube. What's good, family? So, I was started without recording, but um, as you can see, I definitely cleaned it up in here. Got a lot of stuff out there on the fire burning. Um, basically, what I'm trying to do is clean it up good enough to fit the big block Dodge in here. And, um, I just need to get it in here so I can try to get those brakes fixed so I can make it a little bit easier to move because it's dangerous trying to get that thing on and off a trailer without any brakes at all. So, um, A, I want to try to get those brakes fixed and B, I want to get that motor out. Uh, like I said, it's a pain in the neck trying to get that thing on and off a trailer. So... I would like to fix the brakes, pull the motor, put the bearings in the motor, put the motor back in, and hopefully be able to move it back out under its own power and be able to drive it up on a trailer on its own power and have brakes and stuff and be safe. So, with that being said, I cleaned up in here drastically. Now you can actually see the floor. All I got to do is move the four-wheeler and um, maybe this little bit of stuff. I think it will fit without having to move this little bit of stuff, but if I do have to move this little bit of stuff, it's no big deal. This is all I got to move because as you can see, I have moved everything else lining up with that door. So, ride with me. Uh, I'm going to get this four-wheeler out. I'm going to get Samantha warmed up. Uh, I'm going to get these jack stands off and under the truck, and we're going to see what happens. Like, share, and subscribe. I hope y'all like the product. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Excuse me, you guys. I'm so sorry. I am not trying to be rude. I don't know where that came from. But, um, yeah, I hope you like where this th where this project's going. Um, like I said, we are definitely racing the Big Block Dodge project this year. Uh, we are moving, but at the same time, this is hopefully going to make it easier to move and plus – keep us from not getting stuff done because we're moving. If you know, it, it, you kind of get what I'm saying. But anyway, I'm, I'm black. Boy. Stay tuned in. I'm going to try to put y'all on a time lapse and uh, I'm going to let y'all see what I got going on. I'm going to get these jack stands off and under, like I said, get the steering wheel in there and crank up Samantha and get this thing going. Let's get it. Stay tuned in. Like, share, and subscribe if you like the content and just join the journey, man, because I ain't going to stop until the journey end. You know what I mean? I ain't going to stop until this shit get done. So let's get it.
Sorry, Major. Watch that long ass, long ass journey there. Um, it ain't pretty, but it's in there. It's on the concrete. So uh, all I got to do now is get the floor jack up under and move it around and get it situated. Look how close that is, you guys. It's not touching. It's close, but it's not touching. That's the damage from when it rolled down the hill. That's why I was so precautious. Um, you guys, that freaking tow rope from Timu did fucking awesome. Like it did the job. I put a chain on it as safety, just in case. I left the chain loose and did all the towing with the tow rope from Timu. But I left the chain on it just for safety, just in case if something happened. Uh, I don't want no more running runaway vehicles running down the hill and crashing into anything. So I did the chain just for safety. But, dude, that fucking tow rope, that shit was fucking awesome, you guys. I can't believe that tow rope only cost, like, five bucks. It was $4, and like, four ninety nine or something like that. I can't believe that, dude. That, that fucking tow rope worked fucking awesome. That's the best five bucks I ever spent, honestly. We got it in here safely. We didn't wreck anything any worse than what it already was. All that was already banged in. I didn't do none of that. All that stuff was already banged up. I didn't add no extra damage. Uh, Samantha's fine. I didn't put no extra damage on her. She's a work truck. She has to get the job done. This is my situation. This is what I got to work with. So we still got all this room. So um, like I said, I'm going to get the floor jack up under here. I'm going to move this, of course. I said in the beginning, I was probably going to have to move this. I wasn't sure. 
it's actually a little bit more room over there. So honestly, I really don't have to move it. But anyway, I'm rambling. I'm going to get this fucking floor jack. I'm going to jack it up. I'm going to slide it over. And I'm going to do the same thing to the back. And then I'm going to push it forward some. And I'm going to let it run over this uh, cherry picker for now. So I can start doing the brakes first. And um, after I get the brakes working, then I'll fucking worry about slotting it back a little bit so I can actually use the cherry picker and pull the engine out. So like, share, and subscribe. As you see it, we're making progress on this movement. Um, I pretty much got all the parts for the brakes that I'm going to get for now. I'm going to try all this stuff and see if it fixes it. If it don't fix it, then like I said in the other video, I'm going to get a um, brake master cylinder and a brake booster and then that should fix it because that's going to be pretty much the whole brake system except for the rubber lines in the back and the hardware in the back. So um, if that don't fix it, I will change the rubber lines in the back. Um, that should fix it. At least give me a pedal. And um, I don't know, guys. We're just going to go from there. Like I said, let's get these brakes fixed. And then we're going to start pulling this engine out. We're going to get those bearings in the engine. We're going to throw it right back in here. And hopefully we got a running and driving big block Dodge project going. And um, yeah, I'm working on getting that, tur that twin turbo kit. So it's definitely going to happen this year. I'm definitely going to have a big block twin turbo 400. So stay tuned in. Like, share, and subscribe. Hope you like what we got going on. Let's get it. You too. We back in this thing, family. Finally, as you can see, the big block Dodge is in position. So, uh, we're going to get cracking. I don't know shit about drum brakes. Um, if you watch my videos, you know I did the drum brakes on my dad's uh, dually. Four door dually old school 88. Um, that was my first time ever doing drum brakes was that day on his dually. So this is going to be my second time ever messing with drum brakes. Um, as you seen that long, long, long time lapse of me getting this truck in here. I'm not going to make you sit through that again. So I'm going to get some work done and then I'm going to get back with you after I get this tour apart and start getting some of the new parts on here so you don't have to go through a long, long, long time lapse again. So stay with me. Let me get some work done and I'll get back with you at the end of this video. Like, share, and subscribe. Let's get it. YouTube. What's good, family? So I've been at it. I took the rubber line off. So I got so far, um, I took this drum off. I looked in there and honestly, everything looks like it's in good shape. So I'm going to try to do both of these rubber lines first and then work with the pedal and see if I get any pedal. I'm going to try to uh, do these rubber lines and I'm going to try to bleed it to try to get some pedal. And if I get some pedal, then I'm not going to worry about changing the hardware in there because... It's pretty fucking complicated to me, and I ordered one of the tools to get the springs and stuff off, but it haven't got here yet, so, yeah, I don't want to get it apart and can't put it back together, so, I'm going to leave the inside of this alone for now, I'm going to go ahead and change this one rubber line, I'm going to try to squeeze over to the other side and change that rubber line, and just go from there, so, stay tuned in, like, share, and subscribe, thank you guys for watching. Big block dodge. Let's get it. Look at them old rusty ass headers up under there. That big block. Yeah, that big block lurking. Ready to eat something. Let's get it. You too. What's good, family? So, I got that line changed. It fit perfect. It was the exact line to go on here. Um, I got this one changed. Uh, there's really not enough room to get in here and get to the other side. 
There is, but there ain't. I'm gonna have to do some moving. Um, these subs are right here, so I'm gonna have to get those subs out of the way so I can squeeze in there. And uh, once I squeeze in there, I'll be able to break the lugs on this wheel and do this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here for now. Um, it's the weekend. I haven't got to spend no time. Excuse me. I haven't got to spend no time with my old lady all week. So uh, I don't want to spend the whole day out here fucking with the hot rod. So I'm going to use this for a stopping point. And uh, tomorrow she's going to do some things with the kids. While she's going to do the things with the kids tomorrow, I'm going to come out here. I'm going uh, to jack it up. I'm going to slide it over a little bit more because I got more room over here. I got plenty. So I'm going to slide it over this way more. And then after I slide it over this way, I'm going to start working on it again. I'm going to try to get that side. I'm going to get that front line changed on that side. After I get that front line changed on that side, I'm going to get some fluid. And I'm, I'm going to refill all the brake fluid. And I'm going to try to gravity bleed all four corners. I'm going to tighten back everything. I'm going to put some more fluid in it. And then I'm going to test it and see if it has any pedal. If it has any pedal or any leaks, then I'm going to go from there. If I can get just a little bit of pedal, and, or if I could just get the fluid to go to the cylinders, then I'll have something to work with. If not, then I know I need to get either a booster or a master cylinder. Or um a proportion of valve so i'm probably gonna buy the proportion of valve first because i think it's the cheapest or i'll probably buy a proportion of valve and a master cylinder they're both kind of cheap stay tuned in like share and subscribe thank you guys for watching